Welcome back to the Legend Hunter Starts Bloodborne videos. Yes, it is. <laughs> and I love this view. It's pretty nice, despite the fact that we're in a snake-infested swamp full of rotting corpses and tombstones and... My god, this place is depressing. Feels like home. We don't live in oh, a wait, bayou. Wait, wait. I said that with the wrong voice. Feels like home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the way I was going before leads to a bunch of aliens. Which honestly have one-shotted me before. We need to go down. down. We go down into the bayou. Now, if I recall right, there's a couple of assholes and a pig around here. Yep, and the pig can two-shot you with his attack, so you got to be careful. Yep, so there's the pig. Okay, I'm gonna get right up in his grill. And let's get ready to bacon. Yum. Although, Honestly though, I think these corpse pigs would be kind of freaky. They're called man-eater boars. Yeah, so if I ate them, would I be eating people like me? Oh. Yeah, I think so. Sadly, this isn't oil, so these guys are not going to burn. Uh, behind you, I think... There's another pig. Pigs take priority, believe me. You want to deal with the pigs first. Well, shit. Good thing we packed the antidote. Yeah. I didn't know that they could belch poison. Uh, behind yeah. you, there's there was... Ah, yes, that triangle piece. Look, dude, just let me put you out of your misery. All right. Thank you. And over there, I think there was some stuff by the tree root. Well, before I go over there, yeah. I am going to go ahead and open up this shortcut. Go ahead. Because I have a tendency to dirt. I have some terrible, terrible luck with some of this shit. And I would rather take care of this now while I still have access to it. There's the boss, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and, uh... Go ahead and open this up just so we can make our runs to this place faster, just in case I do happen to get the bucket kicked out of me. Which is quite possible. Get the bucket kicked out of me. Well, that's a phrase I've never used before. And it's very weird. Now, you if you actually did have the uh, rune on you, there would actually be two summons for this fight. Ah! That's cool. why. Well, I'm not a fan. Yeah, so... Again, this boss fight is epic if you uh, take okay. it on alone. But okay, I swore there was a shiny inside that tree root. I don't remember if it's true or not. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, there is a thing back there. Try using the... Uh, Having a little party, guys? <coughs> well, that was a miss. Okay, I'm still coughing from the last episode. Shoot, you okay now? Uh, yeah, I just got something caught in my throat. Kill that. All right. Get that blood vial. Gonna need him. Dissipating lake. Interesting. Hi. I'm gonna burp. I'm gonna throw up. Sir? That's rude. All right. That's it for this area. You can't get out. Or, yeah, you can. Anyway. Go back the way we went. All right, let us move along. All right. <coughs> now, again, I would like to point out you cannot make a weapon that would be feasibly viable, like the Ludwig blade, just because, again, you've got moving parts. You're smacking someone with a grandfather clock, essentially. Pretty much. I don't care how much of an edge that clock has, it's still a clock. And if you expect it to work like a clock after smacking someone over the head with it, you're mental! <laughs> You know, that does look like an awful lot like a lot of echoes. Why don't we go ahead and... Uh... Legend! We're fine! Come on. The last thing I want to do is make the... Get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! Yeah! All right. Now, Zero, you know where the summons are. If you do have the uh, thingy on, where will you find your summons? You'll find one right by that giant tombstone in the back, and then you'll find one right along the stone path. Cool. Good to know. But I don't want to do it. Honestly, I do love this fight. And I'll try not to be super absorbed into the uh, oozing atmosphere and whatnot. 
I'm going to focus just on the fight. So this is the Shadows of Yarnum. There's three guys. One throws fireballs. One has a katana. And the others are assholes. Ah, oh, I missed the... I missed the... Heal. Okay, then. I recommend taking care of this guy first. He's an asshole, but he's not the worst of them, believe it or not. Really? I'd rather take out the ones who actually have the best close combat type capabilities. First! That did a lot. Ooh. So, yeah, there's... The fact that you can do that impresses me. Now, here's where shit starts to get real. I think you can actually just gun that one guy and he'll go down. Well, you want to mind your surroundings. Because... These guys suck. Yep. Okay. So... So, Dude on Fire is now Dude on Fire. And that guy is going to be... Okay, don't get ganged up on. Don't. And Damn it! Son of a motherless goat! You panic. Yeah. You want to keep your eyes on him. <sighs> Alrighty. I wouldn't say these guys are the hardest fight, but I do like the dynamics going on. There's a melee fellow. There's a... You want to isolate? There he is! There was! There was! You got him! Sorry, I'm going to take care of this guy. He's a... Watch your back. Dude with the fire is basically a pyromancer. He's... There it is. Very nice. There it is. You can also go ahead and lower the health of everyone else before pressing any further. Probably recommend it. Very nicely done. Alright. Okay, here they come. Okay, now you want to end Mr. Swordfast. Swordfast guy very quickly, because this is going to get ugly very quickly. You're in the same place where I died. No! Yeah. Damn it! That was the kill zone. You had all three in front of you. And in that corner. And in that corner. That's where I got killed. Don't get cornered. Alright. We had a very cute view of the snacks there. Coming out of their Next. chest cavity. Ugh. It's like the aliens all over again. And we're back. Hello, everybody. Let's go ahead and murder some ghouls. All right, legend once again. Yeah, again, you really want to get rid of the katana guy. I'll go ahead and just stagger lock that guy a little bit. Ooh, nice. Okay, where are you? Take care of this guy a little bit. <laughs> okay, no. No, don't get caught <coughs> in that area. There's Katana guy. Hey! Legend? I'm getting combo here. Heal, heal. Let's end this guy. Alright. Back up. Heal. Well, for some reason, they are. They're both there.
Okay. Well, Zero takes care of that. How's everybody doing, you guys? Doing all right? God damn it. The phone keeps bugging me. I forgot to disconnect it today. And that's two shadows down. Oh, here we go. This is where things start getting annoying. Here we go. This is where the guy summons a giant snake to fuck you over. But since this guy's the long range guy. Yeah, he's fucked. <laughs> Told you. I love this fight. There's so much going on that's really, really cool, and this tombstone just makes it. Yeah. Use of territory, use of proper spacing, keeping an eye on multiple opponents, and fighting each one strategically. It's. It's what I live for. And with that, the left the controller gets passed back to me. And I believe you only died twice to him. Yeah. If it was the third time, I would have had to start doing other stuff, like cutting more. Oh, now, yeah. Now, this area... Spooky, scary forest. Oh, shit, it's a fly! What's, what's that uh, actor's name? Uh, what? The, the guy from Jurassic Park. Um, Jeff Goldblum? Jeff Goldblum, yeah. Where it's is... Jeff Goldblum. I don't know why he's so bad. Because he was in, the, in a remake of The Fly. Well then. And a very disgusting one. So, uh, does that mean that every single time we uh, have those flies on screen, we just go, ah, 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 uh, don't let them land on your head. They will actually hurt a lot. You may not see like a lot of damage, honestly. But you can, they inflict the rather horrifying status condition. Frenzy? Yeah. This? Kind of think of it like Doom, only it's happening in real time. You basically have a little bit of a countdown to when you basically will take 70% of your health in damage. It is horrible. And not to mention, you get the wonderful, wonderful image of fly people lunching on your head, which is as much fun to look at as you think it is. Yeah. Speaking of lunching on your head, There's this is where they start throwing the really horrifying shit at you. Yeah, so take care of this guy. No, 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 get me from, from, from. I remember that tree. Fight this guy out here. You don't want to fight him and the asshole who's up ahead at the same time. Oh shit, I thought that killed him. No, you didn't. Oh shit. That almost cost you. Yeah, I know. All right, now. Sitting down, sitting down and relaxing. Investigate the tree. Be careful. Be ready. Because this is where things get horrible. This? <gasps> you just dodged a, the proverbial bullet. Bingo. If they hit... You remember... That we were talking about, like, uh... How oh. the, the witches of Hemlock can bind you? Yeah, these guys, na these uh, weird Cthulhu things can now bind you, too. They also spam the binding attack until they get you, also have numerous grabs, and that grab attack will suck your insights straight out of your horrified skull. By the way, we forgot to mention that we're now in Bergenworth. Yeah, and we're also in Bugenworth. Bugenworth, indeed. Yeah, look at what's up ahead. That thing is creepy. That thing is terrifying! Speaking of terrifying, oh my god, there's two of them! Jesus Christ. You are lucky beyond all belief! I know, I know, and I'm... By the way, that... They choose fire. Everything is weak to fire. So, it's annoying that it hits you with fire. Ooh, nice counter. And let's wreck him. Here it comes! Shit! 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 That was pretty close. I know! Come on, buggy. Come on. You might want to switch your gun just so you can finish him off at range. You coming. Yep. Two. And... I think they can only fire two. Whoa! I've never seen them attack like that! And that freaking mouth up there! What is that? Gaping dragon, anyone? Oh! They're weakest in the back legs. 
murder it, kill it, kill it with fire if at all possible. This thing is horrifying. I didn't even know what they call this thing. I don't Cosmic know. horror? Well, that won't work. Okay, it's too thin for Molotovs to work. Very thin. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! This thing does not deserve to live! Oh god, I thought it grabbed me for a second. I think the gaping dragon was much cuter than this thing. It's dead. And it doesn't just die, it gets sucked back into the netherworld from whence it came. Yeah. Wait a minute. It didn't die, it was sucked away. It'll be back. Great one's wisdom. What kind of horrifying shit did that guy go through to get that much stuff coming out of his skull? I don't know. I don't want to find out. I think oh, he wants to introduce you to that very notion. Indeed. So, oh, I also want to talk about this inside here. Yeah? You know... There's this little thing that's been running around in Bergenworth's thoughts and ideas. By the way, open the gate. I know. And the idea of having lots of eyes. You want lots of eyes on the inside of your skull. Don't go in there just yet. You no. might actually want to restock and stuff. I'll give you the turn, by the way. I'm not going to steal your turn or anything. But if we go through, that means we have to fight all the enemies again. Not all the enemies. You can actually now go through that gate. Yeah. So just have to fight a few. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll return to the hunting stream and we can level up, I guess. Yep, and I can continue expositing. Go ahead and continue expositing. I will exposit all over the place. So Ew. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to condense the narrative of exposition. Okay, so in essence, Bergenworth believed that in order to understand the wisdom of the cosmos, you had to have eyes on the inside of your skull. Yep. What we need are more eyes. Yeah. So, inside is literally inside. You have eyeballs inside your skull, inside wherever you're... Past what your regular eyes can see. Yeah, by the way, you can see that it's a little weird slug-like creature coming out of the skull in a normal madman's knowledge. But in a great one's wisdom, oh my god, we've got an infestation. Yeah. And there's more! So, we need more eyes, he said, right? Yep. Look at all these fly people running around Bergenworth's knowledge, Bergenworth's college. Yeah. I guess they took it literally. No. Yeah. That's kind of gross. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm just going to do this. And... And we can repair the weapon, too. No, yeah, I think we haven't done enough damage to it to really warrant it, but whatever. All right. And you can tell Zero's the one in control because he's not slashing. Now we can't tell. <laughs> it's addicting to do, isn't it? Nope. That's it's like... Back Hello, Wench. You better slap the old dude. <laughs> On your way out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so... Eyes are a big thing. For the great ones. You well, can also see that the pale that the plain doll has eyes on the inside of her skull too. Although that's actually a mapping thing that a lot of people do for characters. True, though it is kind of a funny little Easter egg that really does fit with the lore of the world. Murder the fly. Hold off. Do you need that many eyes to see just how much you suck? I think he does. I talked to the fly. Oh, yes, he does. Now, there... back. Okay, so... First off, this is where we saw Willem, the uh, guy the guy from the dream. You know, from that cutscene that we talked over. Yeah. Now, note that there's a lot of dead people here. And look at that. There's eyes in those. Oh, my God! And there's a treasure chest right here. What is in here? Hey, look, potheads. A pearl slug. Oh, yeah, there's some weird lamps lying around all over the place here, too. Yeah. Pearl slug. Of all the strange life forms that reside in the nooks and crannies of the old labyrinth, the slugs are a clear sign of the, of the left-behind great ones. 
Yep. So basically, people went into the Chalice Dungeons and brought these things out with them. And basically brought about contact with the Great Ones. Great Ones. Which caused all this bullshit to start. And up here... Hey, look. ...is an asshole. Actually, she's quite okay. But she is terrible. She is... I do not like her. I do not like her, Sam. I am. Well, her name... You know, she could be a Samantha. The problem isn't her whip that she is quite vigorous in using. Be careful. The problem is her arcane tool. Which I'm... Thankfully, she's not using. Oh, she's going to use a question. There it is! Run. Ooh, nice. All right. I would have charged an R2 there, but that was... Ah! Camera! Camera! She was trying to gas you. One good way to deal with her is to repost her. But she can be just a little bit tricky. No, no. Post if you're not used to it. Yeah. Back up. Run. Just one of those hit me. If more of them had hit you, you would be dead. Now. Okay. Heal. There. That was an opening. Get her, get her, get her, get her. Ugh, sorry, I don't... Oi. I do not like this bitch. I do not like her, Sam. I am. Don't get cornered. I'm trying not to. You're going back into the corner. Get back into the building. I'm doing that. All right, watch your back. Because of that. Okay, you're almost there. You're almost there. Got her! All right. See, it was a hurt. Not a hit. Ugh. God damn. I hate that fight. And, and I just... she thankfully does not respawn, so we will not have to deal with her again. The fight coming up, on the other hand, is going to be our regular paid in the tits. Which we will actually do in the next episode after we go back and restock on blood vials. Yep. So we got a student uniform, and we actually got a summon, which we might need for this fight. Yeah, let's see. Let's, this one, I don't object to a summon. All right, but just quickly looking around, there's something here. With the ribbing hands low, the line between man and beast is blurred, and when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. Wait, so someone's getting knocked up? Oh, yes. And, ooh, actually, let's quickly go up here. Let's, we have time. We're, we're fine. All right. So we'll I'll trust you, Zero. After all, we can't even get through the damn door without the Lunarium key. Which is that. And up here, there's going to be some more fly guys. There's going to be at least one fly guy, if I recall, right? And there's also going to be a relatively useless piece of hunter tool, which I'm not a big fan of. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay, so he's taken care of. Open this up, and we get the empty phantasm shell. Again, I'm not a big fan. I not normally I would be a huge fan of any way that you can buff your weapons, right? Yeah. But even on an arcane build, quite frankly, everything else that you're doing is going to do better damage and better arcane damage, no less. That with just regular blood, t with regular um, gems rather than applying a coating to your weapon. Yeah, th basically what that does is it puts an arcane buff on your weapon. Which sounds cool, but multiplier's not that cool either. It's not that cool. It's not like the crystal magic weapon, so... Yeah. yeah. So I guess in the next episode, we'll crack this case open. Wide open! Later, guys!